welcome to Red VTV's Instant Fan Reaction as we reflect on Saints' 16 points to 12 victory over the Witness Vikings here this evening in Mark Percival's testimonial. Kev, an opening victory to open 2023. And it's not something we always see in a pre-season friendly. <laughs> it really isn't. No, it's a um, good first half performance. And then obviously, as these testimonial games do, once you start making the rafts and rafts of changes, it does get a little bit bitty. But that's it. After, I think you, you reminded me it was Lee last year who won with a penalty goal right at the end, was it? That was a bit of a, oh, come on, lads, run it and have a go. Don't do it by doing that. Um, yeah, it was, it was good to see a good spirited witness team out there. Starting off, we went, essentially, it looked pretty strong, didn't it, even, even despite um, the internationals missing. Um, Saints fans getting the first chance to have a look at, at T. Ritson in a Saints jersey. And there was a couple of little glimpses where he was able to show his pace. Yeah, it looked like he was, um, I think there was one, it might have even been second half where I thought, here he goes. He looks like he's, he's ready to, to kind of burn a little bit of pace, made some good metres. Um, I thought his partner on the opposite wing, Jamar Sambu, had a really good first half. I thought he ran the ball in really, really well. And obviously he's just trying to he's trying to get his way into this team. We, we mentioned that in our player previews. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's been good to see both wings, a little bit of pace and a little bit of guile on them. Opening first five, ten minutes, the rust, it's fair to say. Um, we're shaking that off a little bit. Listen, we don't expect much in pre-season games apart from getting a little bit of fitness. But the first half was lit up with a couple of really good pieces of play. Um, the first one, James Bell uh, putting Kerr to Sirenen, uh, through a gap to allow Big Kerr to stroll to the line. Yeah, I thought James Bell had a good game as well. Uh, listen, I'm not going to start naming everyone. everyone. Good, <laughs> because, because, because there's, there's 30 yeah. odd of them. But that's it. James Bell showed what he's what he's about and what he can do. We've we've alluded to the fact that he's he's been unlucky to miss out on like grand final squads, um, but he shows how important he is to our team. Hang on a minute. Don't wreck his player preview. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, we'll cut and paste. Yeah, we'll cut it. Just stick this this bit in. Um, but yeah, there, there was some like it's a good run out, and there were some nice little pieces of rugby in there, and I think we'd have been happy with especially the first 60 minutes defensively as well. Um, and then, as I say, the raft of changes just, just starts making it a little bit more bitty. The highlight of, of the first half um, was Lewis Dodd's try. Was it? See, my highlight of the first half was the witness number 19 falling over with no one oh. near <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I, I really dreaded you saying it. It wasn't Lewis Dodd who scored the try. I'm thinking, have I watched something else? No, it's good to see uh, Lewis get over it. But it. It was that combination of yeah. a really silky. Yeah, play. it was really good with Saltier back on the inside to Lomax. Lomax inside to Dodd. Nice birthday present for uh, Doddy as well, though, turned 21. Happy um, birthday. Yeah. and um, Sing happy birthday, yeah, Kevin. No, not a chance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can barely speak, let alone sing. Um, yeah, so... It, it's great to see him back and, and getting a good stint on the field because um, obviously it was a, a terrible injury for him to get last year. Yeah. Um, second half, obviously that raft of changes as we've said. Um, Dan Moss looks like he's got something about him. He looks a little bit of a live wire and I'm hoping he might get a couple of opportunities at, at some points this year. Yeah, definitely. He looks, he looks like he's got that half-back swagger which is always good to see. I'd, like, I'd, I'd just like to see it at some point surrounded by first team players. Yes, yeah, definitely. Just to see what he can do. Yeah, definitely, because he, he's just got that. He, he's got that that brain, that rugby brain that he knows where he wants the play to go. He knows what he wants to do. And as you say, surrounded by with Johnny Lomax or Lewis Dodd next to him as a halfback partner, it'll probably just bring his game up that little bit more. And that's no offence to him. To like he's, he's um, the lineup that he was with there, but. Yeah, he, he just looks, as you say, lively. He looks like he wants the ball. He looks like he wants to dictate play. Uh, great to see. One other player that I will mention, Jake Wingfield. I thought Jake Wingfield looked, he listen, he's still a young lad, but he looks like someone who kind of relishes being a bit more mature and getting into that first team and looks like he's used that as a 
like an audition for him definitely to be in that 17-man squad. So yeah, we, we've talked about Saints. Um, as you said, the highlight of that first half was Ollie Davis falling down the biggest hole. I, I thought it was some of the roads in St. Helens, the size of that pothole he fell down. Clean through, line begging, hand about to be raised in front of the West Stand, and he, and he well, got snipered. I thought I, I, we were waiting for Johnny Vaughan's half time entertainment. <laughs> his, body, his body just uh, moved faster than his legs at that point, didn't it? And he just went. Uh, I feel sorry for him because he's probably thinking, oh, I've got an easy run to the line here. Um, yeah, sorry, Ollie, but just, it, was, it was brilliant. Just for everybody to get absolutely laughed yeah. at. Um, it's, it's a little bit cold this evening, but we've got some kids who, who want to come on. Who's coming on? You alright lads? Yeah. Enjoy that? Yeah. Stand um, down. Listen, you've been on before. <laughs> no, I haven't. Have you not? I oh, you can come on in a minute then. So, all I want to say is Saints are going to win five in a row. That's all I want to say. You're going to go to Australia and win? Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm, I'm going to turn to a little man here. He's the, best, he's the best Cunningham we've got. Better than your dad. Better than him. Better than him. <laughs> Kev Cunningham Jr. Um, you're looking very cold this evening. You're going to be a little bit warmer in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Are you allowed to tell your school you're going to Australia? Or do we have to cut this bit? Cut it out. <laughs> yeah. He, he's got a cough for a couple of weeks. He'll just come back with a suntan. Um, so you're going to Australia? Sorry, I can't talk. I'm you're going to, to Australia? Yeah. Uh, uh, what are you most looking forward to? Um. Going on, going on a tour over the Sydney Stadium. You meant to say Saints winning. Watching James Rovey with the trophy. Is the right answer, Mr Cunningham. It's the right answer. Not, not Welcome back for 2023. This is the like, um, fourth, fourth season in a row. Saints are winning five in a row. <laughs> Enjoy that tonight. Uh, honestly. No, <laughs> it was cold. It was oh. boring. I, I'm dead cold. I'm dead cold. <laughs> get me cold, on that plane. Get, get me on that plane to Australia. Do you know what I did enjoy. I enjoyed some of the youngsters getting a bit of a run out. Thought second half, Mossy was Mossy was good. Every, yeah. You know, I've got an affinity to him. I thought some of the young lad. I thought Jima played really well first half. Can't have you been listening to what we've been no, saying? Because well, well, at least at least it's somebody else is backing it up. Just, just rugby I fans, aren't we? I, I thought Jima played really well first half. Um, I thought Connie was great. It was good to see Lewis. I, 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 my understanding was Lewis wasn't back until round four, and that, it, it, that kind of came from him. Um, but to see him back out there, he's, he's going to be like a new signing. For throw, him, throw he's, the he's, he's, mate, he's amazing. No, he's just he's absolutely quality. Him, Johnny, and put, stick Jack in that with robes as well, that spine. Come on, bring on Penrith, let's go. Absolutely. Listen, the way we're going, we're going to have a Red V Junior TV show oh, soon. Yeah. There's loads of them, isn't there? They're, like multiplying. How come uh, Emma's on, on... Have you been sacked? Have you been sacked? Have you been dropped? <laughs> Mini Red V's been sacked from Mini camera Red duties. <laughs> We've gone with the professionals tonight. Because you're the cheeky bugger now, that's all. <laughs> right. Um, next stop, Australia for, for Saints. Um, I'm sure the players have to play out in that tonight. I'll be glad to get on that flight. Yeah, 100%, mate. Do you remember when we was here for... Um, Johnny's testimonial was it against Lee, and it was absolutely Baltic. I mean, it's not, it isn't that cold tonight, really. Um, but when you stood out, I mean, Ruskin was cold on it on Sunday. But yeah, next stop Australia. If the uh, by tonight, you think they they are saving you, your Warmsleys, your Percy's for that. Let's see what St George brings, and then let's let's go for it. So I, I think. We've got every chance, haven't we? We've Absolutely. We've got every chance. If um, we put our best foot forward, regardless of whether you your Luai's and your, and your uh, Cleary's and your Crichton's play, we've got a chance, and, and that's all That's all we need. We have. I think I've just put the Red V Junior show in the heads of these kids now. Okay. Never mind. Mm -hmm. um, right. Imagine if they got more followers. <laughs> Get on TikTok. Get on. Yeah. Red V Juniors. I tried Prime. Comment below if you think that's a good idea. I tried Prime today. Did you? My friend just poured it into who is with then I had a bit. Try Prime. There you go. KSI, if you want to sponsor Red V, get in touch. Come on, uh, KSI, give us a, lad. Give us a shout, bro. <laughs> right, um, I think that's us done and dusted. Don't forget to like.
PSI would smash you, Dad. Share and subscribe. <laughs> it's all got to pieces in pre-season. <laughs> Catch you soon.